Today's Amanita series, we're going to be discussing a member of section Amanita known as the Fly Agaric, Amanita muscaria, the most iconic of all mushrooms across the planet. There she is. So, one tidbit of information, whether it's true or not, I like to mention is that if you were to grab 10 people that knew nothing about mushrooms and you asked all of them to draw a mushroom, nine out of 10 people would draw this mushroom right here. It is ingrained in human history and uh, it has a very, it's just a part of our lives. It's, it's, uh, it's a very iconic and, and very well-known um, mushroom from Mario Brothers uh, used it, uh, you know, the, the video games of the 80s and 90s, and this is uh, your fairy houses that you think of, um, Smurfs, of all things, live inside these mushrooms right here. But I don't see any Smurfs today. So we'll go over some characteristics. And excuse the audio in this video, um, this is a very urban mushroom. It likes roadways, it likes uh, subdevelopments, it loves people's front yards. Primarily hosts on pine trees. Um, it's not restricted to pine trees, however. But they really love uh, roadways with planted pines and they just find a home. They're very beneficial to the trees themselves. So we'll go over a few identification characteristics. This one here is Amanita muscaria variation gasawi. Now that is our northeast variation that we have. It comes very yellow. This one we can see is very orange, um, which can happen. I've seen them almost peachy red. They can fade to white. But some characteristics of these is this large size, these warts on the cap, the skirt, and classic, this base here, which has these collared rings towards the bottom that as it grows, it kind of stays at the base of the, the mushroom and, and, and pops up as a very good identification characteristic. Now this is a very variable mushroom when it comes to characteristics. We'll, we'll go over that in this video. So with all Amanita, what we want to do is dig her up to view the base. And as we can see, we have a few over here. We have this one still has its orange pigmentation in the center of the cap and it starts to fade as it gets old. And something to note on section Amanita in particular with these uh, Amanita muscaria is this striate margin. We can see these lines on the cap. This one here still maintains its orange coloration in the center. However, this one's much more faded out. Still has the lines still has the warts, still has the skirt, and that base with the collared rings. This one here has uh, maintained a lot of its yellow color. It hasn't faded out yet. And for some more detailed characteristics, we'll focus on these ones here. So I have a variety. This one here, the skirt is still connected, hiding the gills. This one here, the skirt is disconnected, so we can see the gills. And talking about the skirt, we can see sometimes it hooks onto the margin of the cap as it falls off. This one's deteriorating quite a bit from the stem. This one is still draping, very prominent on the stem. And we also have this older one here, which is very waterlogged stem, uh, as we could see, but the skirt is really falling off. We always like to look at the design of the warts, the patterns that they create, and they can vary a lot. So here we have very dusty looking vellum remnants here, and you can see the top of the cap where they've washed off and it's smooth. We also have very spread out pyramidal warts. These ones are a little more pointy and we can even see on this young one here on the very tip of the cap 
how pointy they are. So I mentioned the coloration. They can be very yellow. They can maintain this orange coloration. And as they get older, they can become almost completely faded white. And notice the size of these mushrooms. Like I mentioned, this one's a little rotten, so she's gonna stay here, but for identification reasons, I, it's worth noting um, the different ages of these mushrooms. Here's another one very faded out. So some other things that we like to look at. As they grow old, oh, let's start as the young stage. We have the button. Very traditional Amanita muscaria button um, with this bulbous base and this little nub that pops off the top. And as she grows up, she'll start leaving these rings. We can see one ring here as it decides to go up. We can see multiple rings here in this very dusty vellum, which hasn't really spread apart the cap yet. This one almost has the appearance of a booted base, which we would see on other members of section Amanita in subsection Pantherinae, but this is a muscaria. As I mentioned, these are very versatile uh, when it comes to their characteristics. Even this being very gray towards the base. This one, much more pronounced collared rings on the bottom, and we can see this little scruff which is environmental factors which can make a smooth stipe uh, very shaggy. Also seen on this one here. So one thing I do like to note on section Amanita is the short gills. You can see they're very flat and cut off where they stop. We call this truncate, which is a very characteristic to section Amanita in general. Uh, primarily on the muscaria that we see here. And on this one we can see it doesn't have a cup or rings on it. It has this very gray look to the base. Some of the variation that we can see in this mushroom. I think that may be it for today's Amanita series. Uh, the fly agaric. One of our beauties. Uh, a harbinger of the autumn season here we have in New England. I hope you enjoyed.